hello and welcome back to the realm of unpopular opinions i feel like i haven't spoken to a camera in a while because i was so tired after the reading rush but today is the first day of the nostalgiathon which i am taking part in if you saw the tbr video so i'm just starting it it's going to be very casual because i'm not sure how much i'm going to read daily or if i'm even going to try and read daily because i'm not even sure if I will be here in my house all the 10 days because I'm going south to the seaside not sure when that's why this is going to be a very unpredictable vlog but for now I'm just going to let you know what I will hopefully read first because I'm actually very excited to read all of these because they're short and they're my childhood favorites so let's get on into my strategy oh there's the lighting <laughs> And you have to seek out the rays of sunshine so I have the stack here and I'm not sure what I'm in the mood for today this I'm gonna save until a little bit later because it has a lot of sequels and I know I'm gonna want to read them immediately so I could read one of these today I mean they're very short This is obviously the group book, so I'm going to be reading that anyway, but I think today we could definitely read that one, and and this one because I've been wanting to read this for a while, so I think I can really read this one. It's very short, it has pictures, and the font is gigantic, so I think these two are a safe bet for today. These two are a safe bet for today, but the other one that I might pick up actually is this one. So we'll see what happens. Now that that is out of the way, I have two books that finally got here from Book Depository. But, <laughs> but the third one came separately. I made sure to order all three from Book Depository so they would come at the same time because I'm not sure when I'm going to the seaside. But no, all three came separately. So Book Depository, please get on your shit and send me my packages all at once because I ordered them from you at the same time. That being said, <laughs> the first book that I got was this one, which I was very excited. I wanted to read this for like years. <laughs> I knew it existed, but I just never made myself actually get it. So. I'm so excited. I know it says Legends up there, but, you know, we're treating everything as canon that wasn't Disney, so <laughs> ignore that one. But it's, it's very floppy, and we love floppy books. It's actually very, very thick. It's like 500 pages, so looking forward to that one. And the next one that I got, which is now full of dust for some reason, is this one which is the third book in the Wizard of Once series and I've been waiting a year <laughs> since it came out because I wanted to paperback but I originally bought my copies of the first two as tall paperbacks in my bookstore this is a short paperback so they don't match I could have just gotten the hardcover but also this is cheaper so it's very pretty though I love how these look and how they're multimedia they have drawings throughout obviously I mean they're middle grades but I love Cressida Cowell I loved reading How to Train Your Dragon when I was young and her drawings are always so quirky and just fun to read and The Wizard of Once has a very interesting and whimsical just sense and magic about it I love it I love it a lot I have no problem waiting though between installments for mid middle grades because it's never a cliffhanger or something very interesting but they're a lot of fun and I just th I'm very happy that it got here and the one that didn't get here <sighs> was my V for Vendetta graphic novel compendium that I ordered and when that does get here I will definitely show it to you but I can't leave my house now until it arrives so and today was the deadline so now I have to wait till Monday and then just wait like a chump until it actually gets here which I'm not a fan of, but I just, I want it, so, and I paid for it. So, that is the update for now. 
I will definitely let you know what I read as I'm reading it because this is a very exciting readathon for me. I love rereading childhood favorites. That's the best feeling ever. Now on another note, I've been messing around with this site called Incarnate. I mean, you probably know it. <laughs> you definitely know it. It's for creating fantasy maps, basically. I mean, I'm sure there's something that isn't fantasy, but it's mostly for fantasy maps. And uh, I spent like hours last night <laughs> creating my world from the book that I'm writing. Just a little hint. I mean, I don't want you to know what the world is because I'm going to be writing under a pseudonym, but it looks so real and so cool. Even the free version just gives you so much you can do. I would definitely recommend it if you're running a fantasy book. And now I'm about to go play with it a little bit more, so that's what I will be doing. And then later on, we will start the metal grades. So I will let you know what I'm reading. And that's basically it for now. I don't know why I'm rambling, but I just really wanted to push Incarnate because it's incredible. Yeah, so much for that. I've been <laughs> on Incarnate for hours. I've been doing the capital of like my s world, basically, and I bought Incarnate Pro, so <laughs> I've been doing this for hours. I will read tomorrow, and I will make sure to update, but this is the best site ever. Absolutely get it if you're writing a fantasy novel because... Wow, it's incredible. A million years, no update. But all that I wanted to say was I read that yesterday. And I've been very tired since because it's extremely hot. I read that. I teared up throughout because it's one of the best books of all time. I am so happy that I reread it. And it possibly meant more to me than it meant last time that I read it. So please do read it. It might might change your life it might just reinforce things that you already knew so incredible definitely do recommend and next i'm probably going to read this because it's just quick i always fly through it so that's basically all the update i have it's just so hot that i've been doing nothing and lounging and just watching tv so this is the next thing on the agenda and i will update if i have anything actually to update I know I've been pretty much crap just updating <laughs> along this video, but this is still the nostalgia song sort of vlog because I will be reading other things, but I wanted to update before I forgot. I read Diary of a Wimpy Kid 6 yesterday. I read Matilda, also all of it yesterday. I just had a great reading day yesterday for some reason. Both were five stars. I loved them. I enjoyed them a lot. I was surprised by how much I loved Matilda and that plot twist. Even though I read the book before, I just, I actually gasped at the plot twist. So, congratulations, rolled. <laughs> but, I also went to the bookstore again. Because, would it be a vlog without me going to the bookstore? And I picked up this, which I'm actually really in the mood for. I know it's, n I'm not supposed to be reading stuff that isn't for the nostalgia phone right now, but I've been staring at this on the bookshelf for years, and this was the last copy, and I picked it up, and I kind of want to read it now, so I might just pick this up randomly today, and I still have, I believe, like three books for the nostalgia phone to read, but that shouldn't be too hard because there's a couple of more days. And th it actually ends exactly on the last day that I'm here, so I won't have to do my shenanigans and just record my random vlog at the seaside. So when that finishes, I will just be doing a random vlog there. Nothing to do with the nostalgia thon that will actually end. And I hope that I will be a little bit better at updating <laughs> from now on because I let read like three books and I didn't even tell you what I felt about them. All three of them were five stars. I loved them. This has been the best readathon because I loved all the books. Why am I still holding this up? I will be reading this probably later, but I loved all the books that I read for this readathon so far. I'm so happy that I'm rereading childhood favorites and discovering that they are in fact still favorites and I love them, but I've just been feeling a little bit crappy with all the humidity outside and I can't wait to get somewhere where I can actually go swimming. So if you think I've been moody and not updating that's why but here we are 
three books read and I loved all of them. I also watched Tangled, which counts for the one of the favorite childhood movies. When Tangled came out, I was nine. So it counts as a childhood favorite and yeah, I loved it. I loved it a lot. It's one of the best Disney's in general, so I adored it. And that is pretty much it. I'm just rambling as always. What else is new with me? Nothing. I'm about to go riding, but I got my thing here. It's literally just raspberries and yogurt blended together and I can't live without it because it's the best and let's go writing. Hopefully today we can actually be productive because it's been a while since I was productive. I need to get started. freshly laundered completely which is why my hair looks sort of extra silky but this is going to be the last update probably because I'm gonna push and finish the city of brass tonight although it's rough I will give updates when I'm done and then that's it but it's a strange book I am 150 pages from the ending and I feel like I've not read anything <laughs> Like, I'm not interested in anything. I still don't even know who the villain is. I feel like there's two little pages left in a very, very long book. So, like, 370 pages. Something interesting should have happened by now. But I feel like it's all of it is the introduction. So this book is sitting at, like, a 2.8 or 7 right now. <laughs> we'll see. I don't think the ending can save it. But it might climb up to a 3. In any case, I don't think I'm going to be wasting my money on the rest of these books, but I still want to give it a try because everything deserves a fair shot. So, I literally have... You can't see it, <laughs> can you? I'm on page 369, so we're going to finish it and I will let you know how the hell that goes. I'm not going to light them again, but... I just wanted to show you how gigantic this is. Like, this is my hand. <laughs> it's a gigantic candle, and I think it's going to be burning, like, till winter, if not beyond. So, very happy that I got it. It was extremely cheap. I'm just here to sign off the vlog. I'm not sure if I ever did. So, this is the end of this one. I hope you got some enjoyment out of it. I know I was pretty much a disgrace during the nostalgia phone, but the next vlog will hopefully be a little bit less chaotic and the last update I finished City of Brass which was a chunker and I gave it 2.8 stars the ending was interesting but besides that I had a not so good time so I don't think I'll be continuing and that is it for this vlog I will see you in the next one